Hello, my name is Matthew Howlett, and this is the third video in a multi-video series on creating custom Coco datasets. So in this video, we're going to be talking about creating the mask definitions JSON file. So this is the fifth section in the written guide, which you can find on the GitHub page linked in this the description of this video. It's custom object detection datasets. For the mask definitions file, you will need to have all your mask images already created. So, as an example, for the first image, we have the mask image to go along with. And I've done this for every image within the data set. It's, I found it good to use the same color unless you have more than one sign in the image so that when creating the mask definitions JSON file you can use copy and paste as much as possible. But to help out with creating this mask definitions file I included a example mask definitions.json file within the annotations folder of the roadsides data set. It has the first 10 images within the road signs data set included so you can get an idea of how the formatting is for the JSON file. So quickly going through this we have our masks that we're identifying. Um, we label the images where, where you can find the images so the directory and then the mask directory which if you have your masks folder inside your image folder, you're going to want to take it out. Or you can go ahead and just include images here. Next is the color categories. So for the first image, we just had that blue mask annotation of the stop sign. So red is 0, green is 0, blue is 255. And then the category and super category. So the super category is there's a sign in this image and it is a stop sign. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of this mass definitions, you identify the super categories and the categories here. So for signs, we have stop signs, yield signs, and speed limit signs. Uh, I think this data set is made up of around 85 stop signs, 25 yield signs, and 25 speed limit signs on its continuously growing. And then there's also some traffic lights. So we have just a general traffic light identification and then go, stop, and caution. So for like the 10th image, we have four different stop signs and they all have different color values. So blue, green, red, and purple with 150 red and 150 blue. I hope this helps and I'm going to leave this to the user for creating this file.